You are watching the Capital City Sports Network on SGTV. Hello again, Gamecock sports fans from Greenville to Georgetown. It is club baseball time here at Heathwood Hall. The Gamecocks looking to make it a sweep over the South Florida Bulls after a commanding 10-0 win in five innings yesterday. I'm Mike Waddell for Capital City Sports. Miles Moody on the mound for South Carolina as we are just about to get underway here. And leading off for the South Florida Bulls will be catcher Mike Chang to face Moody first. Bulls had considerable trouble against Gulban yesterday. Ended up being shut out, only gathered a handful of hits. See what they can do here against Moody as he throws in the fastball for strike one. Ball one low. Running out the defense for South Carolina. Behind the plate for Moody will be Andrew Hansen at first. James Konopinski. As Chang fouls that one off for strike two. Second base, Brennan Airfelt. Third base, EJ Mastronardi. Alex Bernarding at shortstop for the Gamecocks. As Chang hits that one to second. Easy play, and that's one down. In the outfield for South Carolina today in left, Jack Nonemacher. In center, Alex Lamandola, who scored the final run in yesterday's 10-0 win by stealing home. And in right for the Gamecocks, Jason Selikoff. And now in the number two spot for South Florida center fielder, Tyler Short. And Moody sends it in for strike one. Sends that one high. Even count, 1-1. One, one. Short fouls that one off. And he bounced it off a moving car in the parking lot. Very impressive there, wow. On the bounce, but still impressive nonetheless. A short now faces a 1-2 count against Moody. Fastball in the dirt for 2-2. Two -two. And fly ball into center. Lamondola calls off the right fielder, and he's under it for the second out. Short jocks back to the bench, and that'll bring Anthony Enriquez, shortstop number one for the Bulls, up to face Moody. Bulls largely ineffectual on offense yesterday, obviously in 10-0 win. It's hard to get much offense going. Got plenty of base runners on, but could not get them past second base for the most part. As Moody fires in strike one. And we'll see what Enriquez can do here. Moody winds up and the pitch. Checked swing and Enriquez went just barely on that one. And that'll bring up the 0-2. Enriquez stays alive, fouls that one into the backstop.
Enriquez lines that one between second and third, and that'll be in for a stand-up single. Moody had Enriquez down to an 0-2, but he fought back. And he is aboard for South Florida. That'll bring up clean hit, cleanup hitter, designated hitter Hector Morales for the Bulls. Enriquez away from first. Trying to make it look like he was going, but stopped. As Moody fires in, strike one. Enriquez away from the bag again. It's good lead. He didn't go there as Morales tipped that one into the catcher's glove for 0-2. He looks him back to first. Enriquez goes. And the throw from Hansen is bobbled at second. Enriquez is in with a stolen base, and the count will go to one and two. Enriquez away from second now. Morales fault, fouls that one over the USF dugout. Still one and two. When he throws a fastball in the dirt and it bounces off home plate to the backstop. Enriquez got third, looked like he was gonna try for home, but he slipped on the infield grass. Moody was there in plenty of time to cover home anyway. And Enriquez will stay at third as the count goes to 2-2 two -two on Morales. Morales lines that one up the middle. Good grab it short, but the throw to first is high and Enriquez will score. So South Florida opens the scoring here. And Moody tosses that one to the backstop and Morales will walk to second. Second baseman Tyler Ross back now up for the Bulls. As they lead 1-0 here in the top of the first. Already beating their offensive output from yesterday. He fires in a fastball. Gobbled up easily at short. And Konopinski can't hold on to the low throw. And Rossback will be in there for another single. With Ross back on first, they'll bring up the number six hitter, third baseman Chad Ween, as Moody throws back to first to try to hold Ross back on. Moody throws in ball one. Another fastball in the dirt for ball two. Who 
Kuni not having really any troubles with control so far. He's had two infield hits off some questionable fielding. As the Bulls lead 1-0 here in the top of the first. Lee and Whiff's on that one for strike one. When he got Chang to ground out and Short to fly out. But three consecutive singles have given the Bulls an early lead. And that one low and away. It's to the backstop and Morales will score. And the Bulls have an early 2-0 lead. Ross back into second as the count goes to 3-1 on Wien. There's a fastball in there. Ween pokes it to the left foul. So Ween will come in to face Mooney with a full count and two down here in the first. Ween tips that back into the glove of Hansen, hits the ground. So it'll stay at a full count. Moody with a breaking ball, and that's lined up in the left field. And Ween will be aboard with USF's fourth consecutive single of the inning. Throw from Jack Nonemacher to the infield, managed to hold Ross back at third. So thankfully the Bulls lead will be kept at 2-0. Moody's still not in a good situation here with runners at the corners and two down. When he's first pitched to Merriman, the right fielder for USF. Goes for ball one. Ween leading away from first, and he goes. That one in the dirt for ball two. Hansen doesn't bother with it, and Ween will take second base. Two zero to Merriman, and Durden will go to three zero, and Hanson will come out to the mound. Try to calm his pitcher down a bit. When he retired the first two batters on a ground out and a fly out, but the Bulls have racked up four consecutive singles, and they now lead it two zero here in the top of the first. Hanson headed back behind the plate. Moody in a tough spot here with Merriman. One ball away from loading the bases. Fast ball in for strike one. That one in there for strike two. Merriman frustrated. They looked at that one. Letter high fastball right over the plate. And the count goes to full. 
And Moody fights back from a 3-0 count to strike out Tyler Merriman looking. But the damage has already been done by South Florida as they take a 2-0 lead. We're halfway through the first here at Heathwood Hall. And we're back, South Carolina looking to make up some ground here in the bottom of the first as they surrendered two runs in the top. Leading off for the Gamecocks, number 30, center fielder, Alex Lamandola. Lamandola scored the final run in South Carolina's 10-0 win yesterday by stealing home. And the first offering from Jared Tilton is looked at by Lamandola for strike one. Tilton with a breaking ball there into the other batter's box for ball one. One one offering just on the outside corner and the count goes to one and two. Dylan throws out one just inside for an even count, two and two. That one off the plate. And over the catcher, Chang. And the count goes to full on the leadoff hitter, Lamandola, for the Gamecocks. Dole fouls that one straight back. Stay alive. Tilton peers in and the delivery, and that's high, and Lamondola will lead off with a walk for South Carolina. Alex Bernarding, the shortstop, now had to do the plate for the Gamecocks. Bernarding steps in, Lamondola away from first. Tilton with a delivery, and he hits him on the left shoulder blade, and that'll put two runners on for the Gamecocks with none out here in the bottom of the first. And Chang will head to the mound to calm Tilton down. And E.J. Mastronardi, second baseman now walking to the plate for South Carolina. Third baseman, excuse me. Tilton has to be careful here if South Florida is going to escape the inning with the lead. Mastronari lays down a bunt, just foul. Lamondola out to a huge lead from second. And Tilton looks him back. Tilton delivers breaking ball. Lined to second. And the Bulls able to get the double play as Lamondola was well off of second base. Nearly got the triple play there, but Bernardin just barely got back to first in time. And that'll bring up the catcher, Andrew Hansen, doing the cleanup work for South Carolina. And Tilton fires in ball one. Bernarding very fortunate that he got back in time. So the Bulls nearly had a triple play there as that one is grounded back to the mound. Tilton fires it to first. And the Gamecocks go down scoreless here in the first. 
After one, South Florida leads it 2 nothing at Heathwood Hall. And we're back at Heathwood Hall for the second inning. Miles Moody's day will be done for the Gamecocks. He is replaced on the mound by Nick Burgos, left-handed pitcher. And Burgess already off to a rough start. That offering to Nick Lloyd on the 1-0 pitch. Lined into right center for the double. And the Bulls have one aboard with no one out. It'll bring up the number nine hitter catcher, excuse me, first baseman Brian Rosenberg for the Bulls. Lloyd well away from second. Burgos peers in for the sign. That one laid down by Rosenberg. He popped it up, though. And it is snagged by E.J. Mastronardi from third base. And the Bulls have one down. Rosenberg very frustrated with the outcome of that bunt. The Gamecocks have one away. That will bring up the top of the order for South Florida. Mike Chang is first time up, grounded out to second base. And we'll see what he can get done here. One down on top of the second and one man on. Burgess breaking ball in the dirt for 1-0. That one line just foul outside the left field, lying by Chang. Could have been very dangerous for the Gamecocks as they already trail South Florida 2-0 here in the second. Chang back in the box for 1-1. Burgess looks back to Lloyd on second. Here's in for the sign and the delivery. Breaking ball high for 2 1. 3-1. Fastball just high on Chang. Lloyd steps away from second. Burgess looks back and fires. And umpires haven't made a call yet. Looked like Chang started to go and might have had a check swing and they confirm it. Chang will be awarded first base on that. Hanson out to the mound. That'll bring up number two hitter Tyler Short, the center fielder. One down and men on first and second. First time up last inning, Short flew out to Alex Lamondola. And we'll see what he can do here. Ground ball to third, it's through and into left field. Throw home into Hanson, and he can't hold on to it. Lloyd is safe, and the Bulls now lead at 3 nothing. Excellent throw from Jack Nonemacher in there with plenty of time. Hanson just couldn't hang on to it. And the Bulls are safe all around, and they now lead it 3-0 as Anthony Enrique has a shortstop. 
walks to the plate. Enriquez one for one on the day with a single in the first. Looked like he was going to lay down a bun. Burgess bounced that one off the dirt. And Chang and Short will move up to second and third. One-zero delivery to Morales. Excuse me, Enriquez. Morales would be the next hitter. In the dirt, two-zero. Hanson headed back out to the mound. Offers his pitcher a bit of advice before walking back. 2-0 count to Enriquez, cleanup hitter. Hector Morales in the on-deck circle. And men on second and third for the Bulls. Burgess winds up and delivers that one in the dirt. 3-0. Burgess with a fastball bell tight. Finally for strike one. We saw Miles Moody work his way back from a 3-0 count. Did an inning ending strikeout in the first. See if Burgess can do it here and that one. High fly ball to right center. Lamandola under it for the second out. He'll relay it to second. And it won't matter. As the Bulls bring another one in. And they now lead it 4 nothing. Morales now up. He had a single in the first, and he hits a ground ball to second. No play there, and the Bulls now lead at 5 nothing as Short walks in from third. That brings in... Tyler Ross back for the Bulls. As Burgess fires in, ball one high. Ross back pops that one up. And Konopinski is under it for the third out. But the Gamecocks have a steep hole to climb out of here. Midway through the second, it's all South Florida as they lead 5-0 at Heathwood Hall. And we're back for the bottom of the second here at Heathwood Hall. South Carolina trailing South Florida 5-0. And leading off for the Gamecocks here in the second. Second baseman, Brendan Ayerfeld. Jared Tilton still on the hill for South Florida as he looks in for the sign and delivers. Ayerfeld lines that one up the middle for a leadoff single. And the Gamecocks have their first hit of the day as James Konopinski, the first baseman, walks to the plate for his first at-bat. Tilton looks in for the sign and delivers. Airfeld went for it, but Konopinski fouls that one off. And out of play, 0-1. Second pitch straight back to Tilton. He fires the second for the first out. And a first for the double play. South Florida's second of the game. And it's two down for Jack Nonemacher.
Tilton's first pitch on the outside corner. Ron Macker watches it for strike one. Nice breaking ball. 12 to 6 there, falls off the table. Ron Macker watches that one, and he's now down 0 2. That one low and away, 1 2. Gamecock struggling offensively here. A pair of double plays have taken out base runners that they managed to get aboard as Nana Macker fall, fouls that one out of play to left. But he'll stay alive with the 1 2 count. Tillens delivery just outside for 2 2. Nana Macker fouls that one back into the chest of Brian, of excuse me, Mike Chang. He'll stay alive behind him. Miles Moody, head coach and to, head coach for the Gamecocks and today's starting pitcher. That one well outside, and after starting 0-2, Nana Macker works his way into a full count. Tillman winds up, and the pitch. Right down the middle, Nonamacker watches it go by, and the Gamecocks go down one, two, three here in the second. We're through two at Heathwood Hall. South Florida leads it 5 0. South Florida leading it 5 0 over host South Carolina. Leading off the Bulls here in the third, Chad Ween, who had a single in the first. Burgess into the windup. Bounces that one off the dirt and into the mask of the umpire for ball one. <laughs> he takes it in good stride as Ween walks back to the box. Here's the second pitch. Ween hits it to third, throw across the diamond. Konopinski has it for the first out. Burgess showing significant control problems here. Having a lot of trouble basically, not, not really getting it over the plate, but getting it to the plate so far. As Ween heads back to the dugout, Tyler Merriman will make his way up for the Bulls. Merriman. Struck out looking to Miles Moody to end the first inning. Burgess' first pitch is just low for ball one. Breaking ball in for strike one. Fastball high for 2-1. Merriman fouls that one off the right for 2-2. Two -two. Burgess fires that one in and it just gets through. And he'll be aboard with a single. That one just out of the reach of Alex Bernarding. And the Bulls have one aboard here in the third with one down. Nick Lloyd now up for South Florida. Lloyd in his first at bat in the second inning with a long double to right center off of Burgess. And he pops up the first pitch. Underneath is Konopinski, and he has it for two away. Now the first baseman, Brian Rosenberg, makes his way to the plate. Rosenberg had a bunt caught by Mastronardi in the second. Popped it straight up, and Mastinardi was able to come in and 
just barely reach it as Burgess fires in strike one. Burgess tosses it to Konopinski to keep Merriman aboard. Looks in for the sign and the pitch. Rosenberg just got a piece of it. Where's delivery, a breaking ball, long fly ball to right by Rosenberg. And underneath it is Jason Selikoff, and that'll do it here in the top of the third. Gamecocks finally managed to get three outs without surrendering a run to South Florida. And they'll look up to make some ground here in the bottom of the third. Bulls lead it, 3-0, halfway through the third here at Heathwood Hall. Bottom of the third is they have a lot of ground to make up. Trailing 5-0 to South Florida here at home. Tilton fires in one on the outside corner. Make it a one. Breaking ball for 0-2. And the South Carolina dugout giving it to Moody right now. Tilton smiling on the mound. Moody with a, Moody with a long fly ball to center field. And Short is under it for the first out of the inning. But Moody gets standing O from the South Carolina dugout. And Jason Selikoff, the number nine hitter and right fielder, now makes his way to the plate for the Gamecocks. Tillman fires that one in low for ball one. Fastball just on the outside corner for 1-1. One, one. Selkov pops that one up behind him. And Chang is under it. Selkov is retired. Two down here in the bottom of the third. And that'll bring up the top of the order for South Carolina. A.J. Lamondola with a walk his first time up in the first inning. Going with a breaking ball well outside for ball one to Lamondola. That one fouled off to the right, 1-1. One, one. Dillon with another breaking ball. Lemondola watches it go by for strike two. Tillman with great control of that breaking ball so far as he has the Gamecock scoreless. In the third, and Lamondola, long fly ball to left center, and it is gone. A.J. Lamondola with the first run of the day for South Carolina with a four-bagger to left center. And finally, the Gamecocks showing some offensive life as they still trail 5-1 here in the third. And 
and Lamondola and the rest of the team make their way back to the dugout to the sound of Sandstorm. Tilton looks to shake that one off as a shortstop, Alex Bernarding makes his way to the plate. Bernarding whiffs on the fastball for strike one. Tilton still smiling on the mound. The 0 1 fouled high to right. Rosenberg under it. And he has it to retire the side. A.J. Lamondole gets one back for the Gamecocks with a home run to left center. And South Florida will go back to work here in the top of the fourth. Bulls lead at 5 1 at Heathwood Hall. Back for the top of the fourth here at Heathwood Hall. Gamecocks managed to get one back with A.J. Lamondola's home run in the bottom of the third, but South Florida still leads at 5-1 with their top of the order due up here. Mike Chang will lead it off for the Bulls. Chang is first time up with a ground out, second time up with a walk, and we'll see what he can do here as Burgess fires in. Fastball low for ball one. Another one in the same spot for ball two. Burgess still just can't get his fastball high enough. And Chang with a long fly ball in the center. Lamondola under it, and it's one away. Now Tyler Short, the center fielder up for South Florida. Short one for two on the day with a single. Watches Burgess's breaking ball go by for ball one. That one just a little bit outside. Burgess delivers a second pitch. Well outside, but called for strike one. Bounces the fastball two feet in front of the plate for ball two. Berg is still bouncing them in there on what seems like every other pitch. No action in the Gamecock bullpen yet as he throws that one in there for ball three, again bouncing it off the dirt in front of the plate. Short line drive to third across to Konopinski, and there's two away. E.J. Mastronardi with a great defensive play there, and that'll bring up shortstop Anthony Enriquez for South Florida. Burgess throws that one again well low of the plate. Well short of the plate, excuse me, for ball one. Enriquez with a single and a sack fly for an RBI on the day. So he watches that fast ball for strike one. That one in there high and inside. Rodriguez thought about going for it, but didn't. That'll bring up 2-1. Burgess with a fastball, and Enriquez whiffs on it. Bring up 2-2. Two, two. That one again, and Dern will bring up a full count on Enriquez. Breaking ball, fly ball to left, and it's just foul. So 
South Carolina with a lucky break out there as Jack Nonamacker, the left fielder, is well off the foul line right now. Enriquez with a ground ball to second. Swallowed up to send the Bulls down. One, two, three. And we're halfway home here at Heathwood Hall, middle of the fourth. South Florida leads at 5-1. And E.J. Mastronardi walks to the plate to lead off the Gamecocks here in the fourth. Plenty of ground to be made up as they trail 5-1 here at home. Bulls still looking. Jared Tilton to get it done on the mound. Tilton fires that one in for ball one. Mastronardi with a long fly ball to center. And Short is under it for out number one. I'll bring up the catcher, Andrew Hansen. Hansen is first time up in the first inning with a short ground out straight to Tilton to end the inning. And he lines the fastball short. And there's two away. Brennan Airfelt up now. Airfelt collected the first hit for the South Carolina on the day, a single in the second inning. And he lines Tilton's fastball into center and short is under it once again. And the Gamecocks go down one, two, three in the fourth. Through four, South Florida leads it 5-1. And welcome back to Heathwood Hall for the fifth inning. Hector Morales is a designated hitter to lead it off for South Florida here. Morales two for two on the day with a run scored. Fergus peers in for the sign, delivers for strike one. Long fly ball to center, Lamandola under it, and it's one away. Talk about Rossback, the second baseman now up for the Bulls. Rossback one for two with a single in the first. Ground ball straight to third. Mastronardi gets to it, but there's no play at first. And Rossback is bored with one out. That'll bring up Chad Ween. His first pitch whiffed on by Ween. Ween also won for two on the day with a single in the first inning. Burgess looks to first to keep Ross back on, delivers the breaking ball, and it's one and one. That one high, 2-1. Base runners not nearly as aggressive as they were yesterday on both sides. Breaking ball from Burgess. Fly ball to center, Lamondola turns on the Jets and grabs it. And he'll hold Ross back on first. Two down here in the top of the fifth.
And Tyler Merriman now up in the seven spot for South Florida. Merriman one and two ended the rally in the first by striking out looking. Had a single to left field in the third. And he watched the strike one go by. So he can pitch well outside for one and one. Breaking ball high for 2-1. Rossback only taking a short lead away from first. Burgess with a fastball low to bring up 3-1. Merriman well behind that one to bring up a full count. Behind him, Nick Lloyd, who had a double to deep right center in the second inning. Burgess delivers, and it's low to walk Merriman. And the Bulls have runners on first and second to bring up Nick Lloyd with two down here in the top of the fifth. Burgess peers in for the sign. That one in the dirt. Throw to third, not in time. And Ross back is in there. Merriman also makes it over to second. And the Bulls now have men on second and third. With a 1-0 count to Nick Lloyd. Two down here in the fifth. And Pierce. And the umpire has awarded Nick Lloyd first base. Not sure if it was a hit by pitcher, possibly catcher interference there. But the base is now juiced to bring up Rosenberg, the nine hitter. First pitch to Rosenberg, watched, and it's low for ball one. Hanson calls time and heads out to the mound. And South Florida with a chance to break this one wide open as they lead it 5-1 in the fifth. 1-0 breaking ball to Rosenberg, foul down first baseline. Burgess fires, fires that one in there low for ball two. Rosenberg is first time up, had his bunt caught by the third baseman, Mastronardi. Second time up, had a fly out to right field, and he fouls that one straight back for 2-2. Two -two. Ross back hang most of the way home, and Rosenberg fouls that one off the South Carolina dugout to stay alive. Ross back looked like he might have been trying to steal home. A.J. Lamondola did it yesterday to clinch a 10-0 mercy rule shortened win in five innings. Ross back now jogging down the third base line. Burgess delivers well high on the breaking ball, and that will bring up a full count. Rosenberg fouls that one away to left. Rossback taking an interesting approach. He ran about 
10 to 15 feet down the line and then took a sharp right turn. I guess trying to try, trying to fool Burgess somehow. So that pitch is in there. Rosenberg hits it down the first baseline and again foul. Burgess, the delivery. Rosenberg lines that one foul. Burgess is finally having the control to throw them over the plate, but just can't get it past Rosenberg here with a full count and two down here in the fifth. Gamecocks are going to need this out to stay in it. And the pitch, Rosenberg, ground ball to second, and it's in the outfield. Rossback scores, throw in from right field, and that'll score two runs for the Bulls. They take a 7-1 lead here in the fifth. Rosenberg now aboard with a single, and that'll move Lloyd up to second. Moody calls time, and it looks like that could be all we see from Burgess today. And we'll see a pitching change from South Carolina. We'll be right back after this. The day is done as the Gamecocks will look to right-hander Noah Sprinkle to get it done in the fifth. Not a moment too soon as Mike Chang comes up for South Florida to bring up the top of the order. Chang 0 for 2 today with a walk and spring, Sprinkle fires in a fastball for ball one. Fastball low but in there on the outside corner. Another fastball low to bring up 2-1 for Chang. Swinkle with another fastball just low to bring up 3-1. Nick Lloyd well away from second. And that one is lined in the center. Lamondola can't get to it. He gets it on the bounce, relays it to the infield. And the throw home to Hanson will not be in time. Lloyd scores, and the Bulls now lead it 8-1 here in the fifth on an RBI single from Mike Chang. Tyler Short, the center fielder now up for South Florida. Short one for three on the day with a single. Sprinkle peers in for the sign and the pitch. Inside for ball one. That one letter height. Short watches it go by for strike one. Springle looks back to second and delivers. That one in there for strike two. Curveball low and away.
And fastball there on the outside corner. Short watches it go by, and the Gamecocks finally get out of the inning, but not unscathed. The Bulls get three more across, and it's 8-1 halfway through the fifth. And we're back to the bottom of the fifth here at Heathwood Hall, South Carolina, trailing the South Florida Bulls 8-1 here. James Konopinski will lead things off for South Carolina in the fifth. His first time up in the second inning, Konopinski, the first baseman for South Carolina, grounded into a double play. And we'll see what he can do here. South Florida still sticking with Jared Tilton on the hill. And Konopinski lays down a bunt. Chang there, throws it to first, and it's over his head. And Konopinski is aboard to lead off the first, to lead off the fifth, excuse me, and that'll bring up Jack Nonemacher, left fielder for South Carolina. First pitch from Tilton just in there for strike one. Nonemacher struck out looking to end the second inning his first time up. And he fouls out one straight back into the umpire. First time up in the second, Nonemacher fought back from an 0-2 count to get it to a full count, three and two, and then watch strike three go by. No one on for the Gamecocks at the time, however. And heads back to the mound with a new ball, and it's 1 1. Konopinski away from first. Pitch from Tilton. Low and away. Konopinski calls time. And it seems he was answering a text as he pulls his phone out of his back pocket. Not sure if they allowed in the MLB, but either way, Tilton delivers, and it's a long fly ball into right center. And it's on the bounce. And Konopinski gets into second on the slide. Nonamacker gets the single to short right field, and the Gamecocks have two men aboard for Miles Moody with no one out here in the fifth. Moody up to face Tilton, his first time up in the third, flew out to center field. Tilton delivers, and it's a ground ball between second and third. Gets past the shortstop. Konopinski in, he comes home and scores. Nonamacker in at third, he's safe. South Carolina safe all around as Moody grounds a single into left field, and it is now 8-2 to two here in the fifth. Still no one out. And that brings up the right-hander, Jason Selikoff. Fouls that one back in the catcher's glove for strike one. Selikoff with a pop out behind the plate to Mike Chang, his first time up, and he swings at strike two. Fastball fouled back, and it stays 0-2. Mooney's double seems to be injecting some life into this game, Cox team, as they are finally loud in the dugout. They've been quiet most of the game. And trailing most of it, of course. And Selikoff whiffs on the breaking ball, and he'll take down. He'll go down for the first out of the bottom of the fifth. And that'll bring up the top of the order for South Carolina. Lamandola. His last time up in the third scored South Carolina's first run of the game with a home run to left center. And Tilton's fastball is in the dirt for ball one.
Breaking ball in the outside corner for 1-1. One, one. Dillon throws a fastball for 1-2 as Lamondole fouls that one back into the parking lot. That one high for 2-2. Activity now going on in the South Florida bullpen. Well, delivers on the 2-2 and is fouled into the backstop by Lamondola. He stays alive. Moody away from second. Tilton delivers, and Lamondola fouls that one into the South Carolina dugout. And a nice catch there by Sprinkle. That one high on Lamondola to bring up the full count. And with a breaking ball, Lamondola chases it, and he goes down. Two out here in the fifth. That'll bring up the shortstop Bernarding for South Carolina. No, excuse me. It seems that Bernarding has been subbed out for Bernstein. Bernstein watches fastball go a bit low but in there for strike one. That brings up 1-1. One, one. Bernstein watches the breaking ball in for 1-2. Max Bernstein in his first at-bat of the day in for shortstop Alex Bernarding. And that's popped up the center. Short under it, but he's called off by the right fielder, and that'll do it. Gamecocks managed to get one back, but then get three consecutive out. And we're through five at Heathwood Hall. South Florida still in a commanding 8-2 lead. And Enriquez up to lead it off for South Florida here in the sixth. He has a single, a sack fly, and a ground out on the day, one RBI. And he'll lead off facing Sprinkle here. Fastball grounded into left, but foul. Sprinkle with the breaking ball, apparently just a little bit high, possibly inside. That'll bring up 1-1. One, one. Sprinkle deals with a fastball. And it's lined to left, not a macker. Relays it to the infield, but Enriquez will be in there with his second single of the day. And that'll bring up the designated hitter, Hector Morales, for South Florida. Morales two for three on the day with a pair of singles. His first time, though, facing Sprinkle. And he watches ball one come in. Enriquez steps away from first. Sprinkle looks, delivers. Fastball in for strike one.
That one hit the short. Bernstein can't grab it. Enriquez will head for third. And Morales with his third single of the afternoon. Tyler Ross back now up for the Bulls. Watch this ball one. That one low and away for ball two. And Sprinkle kit skips that one across home plate to bring up 3-0. Cross back, smacks that one to third. Relayed to second. And the throw low, but it's held on. And the Gamecocks at least get one out as Morales trots back to the dugout. No play for Enriquez to get home. That'll bring up Chad Wayne with one out and runners on the corners. That pitch low and through the catcher, Hanson Enriquez will walk home and it is 9-1 South Florida. Ross back heads to second. Sprinkle walks back to the mound. Takes a look and Wien gets back in the box. 1-0 pitch. Wien gets that one into right and it lands just inside the line. He'll stay at first. Ross back will stop at third. And once again, the Bulls have runners on the corners, this time with one out. Tyler Merriman now up for the Bulls. Wean away from first. Sprinkle blows that one past Marion. Merriman for strike one. Throws back to first. Merriman there in plenty of time. Brendan Airfelt now at first for the Gamecocks. Sprinkle fires that one in just a bit outside, but called for strike two. That one bounces in front of the plate. Ween will head into second. Bulls now with men on second and third with one out for Tyler Merriman. Three hits in the inning, all singled. It's all singles, one field to choice as Merriman fouls out, one back to stay alive. Gamecocks really struggling on the mound today. Moody left after an inning after Bulls took an early lead. Merriman, ground ball to second. Ross Airfeld has it for out number two. Rossback comes home and it is now 10 to 1 South Florida.
As Marion sits down, that'll bring up Nick Lloyd. First delivery over Lloyd's head, the fastball for ball one. We saw Cam Bode take one to the helmet just yesterday. And Sprinkles 1-0 delivery is in the dirt for ball two. Two will pitch well inside, and that'll bring up 3-0 as Lloyd turns away from that one. Lloyd lays that one off, and I'll bring up 3-1. Sprinkles 3-1 pitch in there to bring up the full count. Lloyd chases that one. It's in the dirt dropped. Hanson the throw to Airfeld is well in time, and that'll do it. But the Bulls get two more to lead 10-1 halfway through the sixth. Have to correct myself at the end of the half inning. Announce the score as 10-1. It is in fact 10-2. Don't want to put the Gamecocks any farther behind than they already are. And EJ Mastronardi up for the Gamecocks to lead off bottom of the sixth. South Florida still looking to Jared Tilton as he has pitched a beauty today. Tilton into the windup. And they get Mastronardi on the check swing. Have to question that one. And third base umpire calls time. It looks like they're going to talk about this one. And humorously, Gamecocks first base coast, first base coach toss from the game. <laughs> Kicks a little dirt and then will head back to the dugout. All in good fun, however. Umpires have an indicate if the call will stand. And it will. Mastronardi starts it off 0-1. That one in the dirt. I don't think Tilton can even believe he had that call. As he delivers the 1-1 pitch. Low but in there for two. Tilton with the breaking ball. Mastronardi hits a fly ball to left. And it's one away. And another sub for the, oh, excuse me, no, not a sub for the Gamecocks. My mistake thought it was number 18, Paul Kashak, for a second. It is, in fact, Andrew Hansen, the catcher for South Carolina. Dillon with a slow breaking ball in there. Hanson watches it go by for strike one. That one in the left-handed batter's box to bring up 1-1. One, one. Dillon with a fastball fouled off by Hanson into the South Florida dugout to bring up 1-2. Hanson lines that one into right for a stand-up single. Yes, 
That will bring up the now first baseman, Brendan Ehrfeld. Airfeld his last time up in the fourth, flew out to center. He watches strike one go by. Had a single in the second, but nothing since. And Tilton blows that one by him to bring up 0-2. Fastball popped up by Airfelt to right field. And the first baseman Rosenberg is under it. And it's two away. And pinch hitting for James Konopinski, or actually no, it would actually be Max Bernstein at this point, is going to be Patrick DeMar. Timeout called by the ump. Everything squared away. DeMar steps into the box. Ground ball to second. Across to Rosenberg, and that'll do it. South Florida escapes the inning unscathed, and they head to the seventh with a 10-2 lead here at Heathwood Hall. Blurred the fourth Gamecocks pitcher of the day. Miles Moody made it through the first then looked to Burgess and then Noah Sprinkle the rest of the way. And Brian Rosenberg, the first baseman, steps into the box for South Florida. Bueller's first pitch of the afternoon right down Broadway for strike one. Another fastball low, one and one. Rosenberg calls time. Rosenberg is last time up, so he looks at ball two. Rosenberg, his last time up, had a two RBI single to right field. Bueller fires in ball three, well outside. Wind up, Rosenberg waves at it, and that'll bring up a full count. Rosenberg one hopper to short. Toss to Airfelt is there well in time, and it's one down. Mike Chang walks up to lead off, or excuse me, representing the top of the order, salutes the South Carolina bench for playing Kung Fu Fighting as his walk-up song. Chang in the number one spot for South Florida. Center fielder Tyler Short in the on-deck circle. As Bueller delivers ball one. Bueller quick fastball just low for ball two. Chang lays it off. That one well high over Chang's head and that'll bring up three and oh. Bueller into the windup, delivers, and Chang smacks that one into sender. Lamandola under it, and it's two away. Hard hit ball by Chang there, but Lamandola got there well in time. And there's two away here in the seventh as Tyler Short walks up.
Bueller delivers that one. Ball one in the dirt. Another fastball lined in the left field by Short. No play, and that's going to bring up Anthony Enriquez. And the Bulls have a man on first, two outs here in the final inning. Bueller has to be careful here. Enriquez had a line drive single to left field his last time up, was followed by Hector Morales, who also singled. Bulls got two runs in the inning to get where they stand now, leading 10-2 in the seventh. Bueller delivers the first pitch, bounces it out of the left field, batter, left handed batter's box. And short walks to second base. Bueller getting plenty of zip on the fastball so far, but almost no control over it. Close to second and the pitch just outside. And it'll bring up 2-0. Bueller another fastball in the same spot as ball one. Short will take third base easily, and that'll bring up a 3-1 count. And the Bulls, te technically, at this point, Enriquez would represent the game-winning run. If they stretch the lead to 12-2, that would be it. South Carolina Mercy ruled the Bulls yesterday 10-0. As Bueller fires in strike one, bring up 3 1 on Enriquez. Unlikely at this point, but you never know. And Enriquez with a short dribbler to third. Toss to first. Airfeld drops the throw, and Enriquez is safe. Short comes home, and it's 11 2 South Florida. And that'll bring up the designated hitter. Batting cleanup, Hector Morales. And with one swing, one swing, Morales could end this game by putting South Florida ahead by 10 or 11 runs. And Bueller takes a look. Enriquez away from first. Fastball low for 1-0. Bueller doesn't like the call. Looks back to first, Enriquez takes a step. Bueller fires in another fastball for strike one. One one from Bueller, breaking ball. Grounded back to the mound. Bueller lobs it over to Airfelt. And he just hangs on to the throw. It appears Morales tripped over him. And that'll do it in the top of the seventh. Gamecocks with nine runs to make up here in what could be their final shot. 11-2 South Florida at Heathwood Hall as we head to the bottom of the seventh. And we head to the bottom of the seventh at Heathwood Hall, South Carolina, trailing South Florida 11-2. Leading off of the Gamecocks will be left fielder Jack Nonemacher. And the Bulls will be going with Jared and Tilton. We'll let go, Jared Tilton go the distance in this one. Tilton fires in ball one for Nonemacher. No reason not to let him, though. I mean, Tilton has pitched a gem today. Few hits, fewer runs. He's been rock solid for the South Florida team. And the 1 0 to Nonamacher. Breaking ball in for strike one. That 
Now one high outside. Now Macker will step back in to face the 2-1 from Tilton. Fastball lined to short. Going across, Rosenberg has it, and it's one away. And Spencer Bueller makes his way to the plate for his first bat of the afternoon. For his first at bat of the afternoon, excuse me. Bueller will be followed by Jason Selikoff to bring, up the, to bring the bottom of the order. Tilton fires that one in there outside for ball one. And Bueller fouls back the 1 0 offering. Tilton with a gorgeous breaking ball to make it 1 2. Another one. Bueller stabs at it and he'll stay alive. Just barely got it off the end of the barrel. <laughs> Bueller fouls it back again and he'll stay alive. And Bueller goes down swinging, not happy about it. And the Gamecocks are down to their last out as Jason Selikoff, the number nine hitter, makes his way to home plate. Top of the order represented by Alex Lamondola will come up if Selikoff can manage to survive here. First pitch, first pitch from Tilton, high and inside for ball one. Selkoff behind the fastball for strike one. Tilton with the 1-1 one, one offering. Low and away, but Selkoff chases it, and South Carolina is now down to their last strike. Tilton kicks, delivers, and it's popped up. Rosenberg under it. And that'll do it in the seventh. It appears that we'll be playing nine instead. Yes, and I guess it is so. We'll be playing nine instead of seven here today. We'll be right back with more after this. South Florida leads at 11-2 through seven. And as we go to the top of the eighth with nothing left to lose, the Gamecocks are going to empty their bench, essentially. Max Bernstein now on the hill for South Carolina. At first base for the Gamecocks, Tim Estes. Patrick DeMar out to second base. Tim Item at shortstop and Cam Bodie makes his way out to right field. Chad Wien will lead it off for South Florida. Bernstein's first pitch, a breaking ball in there for strike one. South Florida still only one run from ending this one with the mercy rule as Bernstein's second offering is Oh, excuse me, it's actually Tyler Ross back at the plate. Either way, Bernstein's second offering is well over Ross back's head for ball one. And Bernstein sends out one to the backstop for ball two.
Ross back golfs that one in the center field. Lamondola under, and then it's one away. And this will bring up Chadwin. Bulls lead at 11 to 2 here at Heathwood Hall. One more run. Mercy Rule kicks in at 10 runs. South Carolina did it yesterday when they defeated the Bulls 10 0 in five innings. Bernstein looks to Hanson and delivers. Breaking ball in the outside corner for a one. And Wayne with a long fly to left, and that is gone. Chad Wayne with the home run, and that'll bring it to 12 2. And I believe that'll do it. Umpire heads out to the mound to talk to Bernstein. And they're going to keep playing, apparently, even as South Florida takes the 10 run lead on Wayne's home run to left field. So this will bring up Tyler Merriman for South Florida. Bernstein's first pitch high for 1-0. Same spot, 2-0. Merriman fouls out one back. 2-1. Bernstein tosses that one inside and it'll be 3-1. And that one over Merriman's head, and he'll take first base. Nick Lloyd, the left fielder, now up for South Florida with a man on and one out. Bulls lead at 12 to 2 here. They'll, we'll still be playing a full nine inning game. Lloyd pops that one into shallow right, actually just into the infield. Bodie gets to it before second baseman DeMar relays it into the into second base. That'll be just barely an infield single for Nick Lloyd. Merriman makes it to third. Runners on the corners for Rosenberg. It is possible the mercy rule will go into effect after South Carolina bats, however, in the bottom of the eighth, we'll have to see. Bernstein's first off during the Rosenberg well inside. Ball one. That one high outside, 2-0. Bernstein drops the throw back to the mound from Hanson. But Lloyd will stay at first. Activity going on in the South Carolina bullpen as Bernstein peeks in for the sign. Looks Lloyd back to first and fires and there for strike one. Rosenberg smacks that one just out of DeMar's reach. That'll bring home Merriman, and it's 13 to two as Rosenberg is in there for an outfield single. I had him joking around with Lloyd, tried to push him off the bag and tag him. 
That'll bring up the top of the order, Mike Chang at the plate now. Men on first and second and one out. Bernstein, that one over Chang's head. Off Hansen's glove to the backstop. Lloyd the third, Rosenberg tiptoeing his way to the second. Seam the breaking ball in the outside corner can't get the call. Chang fouls that one to the backstop, 2 1. Chang with a ground ball to second to Mar. Gets it to Estes for the second out. Lloyd comes home and it's 14 to two, South Florida. Number two hitter, center, center fielder, Tyler Short now up. Bernstein's first offering is outside for ball one. Short with Rosenberg on third and two outs here. Spurnstein gets him looking at strike one. Bernstein throws that one well high of short. For ball two, and that one smacked in the center, Lamandola under it. And he's got it for the third out. And South Carolina will go back to work here in the eighth, trailing 14 to two. And Gamecocks start with the top of the order in the bottom of the, here in the bottom of the eighth. Alex Lamandola up to face Tilton. Tilton sends in strike one. That one fouled to the backstop. Lamondola now faces an 0-2 from Tilton. Fastball low and away to bring up 1-2. Behind Lamondola, it appears it'll be John Tartaglione taking over in the two spot as Lamondola goes down swinging and it's one away. And Tartaglione makes his way to the plate for his first plate appearance of the day. First offering from Tilton Tartaglione pops that up to right. Two away. And if the mercy rule is to be served here, as the Bulls are now ahead 14 to two, this would be the Gamecocks' final out. Don't have a batter coming out of the dugout yet, however. In the three spot, normally it would be EJ Mastronardi. Umpires and Tilton both waiting for a batter to come out of the dugout. <laughs> and the umpire's still waiting for South Carolina to send a batter to the plate. And it's going to be number two, Max Bernstein. <laughs> 
fly ball into right. And it's dropped by the South Florida right fielder. It's in fact not Bernstein. I haven't really said who it is. Bernstein is clearly on the bench. Player is wearing number two, however. So the Gamecocks have an unknown man aboard with two down. Tillens' first delivery to Hanson is fouled back into the glove, and it's a one. And the Gamecocks got a stolen base out of the deal. Chang's throw not in time. And Tilton will go back to work on Hanson. Pitch, ground ball to second. Rosenberg scoops it. And it appears that'll do it. And that will do it as South Florida Mercy rules the Gamecocks just, just a little over 24 hours after they had it done to them. They defeat South Carolina 14-2 here today at Heathwood Hall, and that'll be all today for South Carolina Club Baseball for Capital City Sports Network. I'm Mike Waddell, forever to the Carolina. You are watching the Capital City Sports Network on SGTV.